Good day everyone. We will discuss about index seek, key lookup and index hints in this video. Let's get started. I'm going to use a database called JBS Wiki for this demo. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create a table called table seven. It has got four columns. Column one is a primary key and we have an uh, identity. It is an identity column. Column two and column three are integer and column four is an var card 10. I'm going to insert five rows onto this table. Okay, cool. So what I'll do is like I would uh, first, uh, let's look at the table structure here. Let me uncheck the execution plan. So uh, as I told you, column one is an uh, uh, um, prime is the primary key, and um, uh, what we can see is like it is an identity column uh, with an uh, seed and increment of one. So that means like it's gonna uh, increase by one uh, any successive rows, and we have a cluster index created automatically as uh, we have a primary key on uh, column one. Moving on, I'm going to execute this query. Um, basically, what I'm doing is like we have a predicate of column one and I'm uh, going to select uh, column one from table seven and the predicate, as I told you earlier, it is column one is equal to one. So let me execute that. And what I'm seeing is like, since we have a uh, cluster index on this particular table, we are going for a uh, cluster index seek. Next query that I'm going to run is like, as I told you, we have four columns in this. So this uh, select query, uh, the predicate is on column one, but I'm going to um, retrieve column two, column three, and column four. So let's look at the execution plan for this and see what we can uh, see. So here, uh, again, we are getting a cluster index seek. Okay, cool. So now what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to run this query, uh, which is uh, kind of similar to the previous one. The only difference is like uh, the predicate is column two equal to one, and we are retrieving the cluster index column, which is column one. It's a simple query. Let's look at it. And what I'm seeing is like this time, I'm uh, going for a cluster index scan. Yep, because it is, um, we have the cluster index on column one. Since the predicate is on column two, what is basically happening is like the whole of the cluster index is utilized and we are basically going for and scan. And no, we are not getting uh, cluster index seek anymore because the predicate that we are using doesn't have any index. So the, uh, this query is uh, uh, basically being serviced by the cluster index, uh, cluster index uh, that is created as part of table seven. Now what I'll do is like to um, uh, 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 to for the to support this query, I'm going to create a non-cluster index called ix underscore test on column two. So let me execute that. So the understanding is like right now we should be getting an in, uh, index seek because we have uh, column two yeah. And uh, what I understand is like, uh, since we have uh, column one, which is basically covered by your um, uh, cluster index, I think uh, there shouldn't be any problem. So basically it will be a cluster index. Uh, it will be an index seek and that would be on IX underscore test. Let's look at it. So as expected, we are seeking uh, using the uh, index IX underscore test as we have um, uh, column two and uh, th this column two is present on the uh, uh, this on cluster index and since column one is part of your uh, cluster index we don't have any issue so let's run this query so we know like uh, column one is uh, on the uh, column one is um, uh, cluster index and column two we have a non cluster index called ix underscore test so now we are including column three here so uh, what I expect is like we should be going for an index seek followed by a key lookup because column three is not in the, the non cluster index nor on the cluster index. So let's execute that. So now if we look at it here, we are not going for an index seek followed by a key lookup. Basically, we are going for a cluster index scan. Let's understand why this is happening. So what I'll do is like I will uh, run the same query. If you see here, it is select column one, column three from table seven, um, uh, where column two is equal to one. But what I'm doing this time is like, I'm basically telling the optimizer, uh, you don't select any index. You basically use this index called IX underscore test. So let's execute that. Now, if I look at the execution plan, what I'm seeing is like index seeks cost is close to 50% and key lookups cost is 50%. That is what is happening is like we are going for an index seek, 
uh, uh, which basically gives you the data with regards to column two. And uh, column one is present in the cluster index, but column three is not present in um, um, the cluster index nor on the non-cluster index. So what happens is like this index seek basically has to go back to the cluster index and then perform a key lookup and get uh, information with regards to column three. The optimizer was able to understand like if it performs an index seek followed by a key lookup, which will be very, very costly. So that's the reason um, the optimizer uh, which is uh, really good at uh, selecting the best execution plan. Instead of going for an index seek followed by a key lookup, it basically went for a cluster index scan. So what we'll do to solve this problem is like, I'm uh, going to uh, drop and recreate this index called IX test, but I'm going to create it as a covering index this time. So um, if you look at it here, um, uh, the, the, we are um, using this co column two, and also including the column three, which is present in the uh, select clause here. Yeah, so I'm using a drop existing one. So what I'm going to do, it is, go it is basically going to drop this index and then recreate with this definition. So let me execute that. Now let's execute this query and see what happens. This time we will be seeing index seek. There is no lookup and things like that because this index ix underscore test is a completely co is completely covering this particular query basically um, uh, column two is um, uh, covered and also column three is covered column one since it is in um, a cluster index we are getting the data directly so there is no issues that's it for this video thanks for watching have a great day jai hind